Unai Emery has inherited, inherited a £300,000 a week nightmare. Right. He has. I mean, he took him off for a reason. He's without, you're a man down without the ball. You're a man down without the ball. And then when you have the ball, he doesn't do enough. At well, times he does. At, at times he'll do something brilliant because he's, he's, he's got brilliance in him, Meza Ozil. But they've got, he's inherited a £300,000-plus player and now he's got to make a decision, what do I do with this guy? It's, it's amazing. Where do you play him? There's a, there's How do they get the best there's out a, There's a saying in football that when you have a player like Mesut Ozil, he will get you the sack. And what I mean by that is this. He will show you brilliance for one game. Right. So Bobby Robson used to map it out, six games. What sort of a player do you want to be? As you said, four good games, one great game and one unbelievable game. Not one good game and then go missing. This is, the, this is the problem, and Craig's spot on. This is a massive problem for Unai Emery because we cannot keep seeing this from, from, from Mesut Ozil. We cannot. It's, it's, it's impossible with the money that he's on. He is the creator. He is the playmaker. It should go through. You him. play him wide, he doesn't track back. You play him left, you play him right, he doesn't track back in some of the games. You play him in the middle, in the hole, he doesn't go and, he doesn't go and press the deep line midfielder that was Jorginho who can then pass the ball. So that's well, why I mean, you what, drop him? That's well, why you, well, you've that's got to have players around have him. Make. You've either got to have players around him that demand. Did we see any players on that field today for Arsenal demand and put pointing fingers? No, we didn't. Listen, not, not at all. You've got Unai Emery who got the ball and said, if, if he starts dropping Mesut Ozil and he goes a different way, and by the way, they've just lost their first two games of the season, it's not exactly a crisis, but it's not great, sure. right? At some point, he has to go and say, listen, I can't play this guy because he's not doing what I want and I'm going to be hired or fired at this football club on the decisions that I make. I'm new to England. They don't care what I did in Spain or what I did in France. I am new to this club and I'm following a guy who was very successful early on. And the board will be saying, like, well, you know, we're paying this guy. So he's got a decision to make. Mm. What's the best for him and what's the best for the team? Not, not what's the best for Mesut Ozil or any of these big-time Charlies. At the end of the day... He needs everybody on board or he's going to fail at Arsenal. If he doesn't get them all on board or get them out, he's going to fail. It is a huge job. We knew that already, but it is a huge job.